welcome back in this video we want to talk about python's conditional statement let's say we want to check whether a certain number is an even number or not we can do that by using if statement so we say if the number is divided by 2 or modulo 2 without any reminder then as soon as i hit enter you see that the next line has been indented so this is how we use the if statement and then we say num is an even number so what i have done here means this code or line 4 will only be executed if the if condition evaluates to true so if i run this and then i enter let's say 12 and i hit enter we are getting 12 is an even number but if i run this again and i enter 13 we are getting nothing because this condition in the if statement evaluated to false so as soon as this condition evaluates to false the next line will not run but we can supplement this code with an else statement that is if the if statement fails then what should be done all right so anytime the if statement or the if condition evaluates to false we can say that the else statement should run and then the else statement should print the number is an odd number because if the number is not an even number then it's an odd number so if i enter let's say 16 here and i hit enter we are getting 16 is an even number but if i enter the 13 again we are getting 13 is an odd number so that is how the if and then else statement works so we use indentation not curly brackets as you might have seen in other programming languages python use indentation for the if and then else statement code block okay not curly brackets so this is equivalent to four spaces all right you can use two spaces but you have to be consistent throughout your coding the norm that we as python developers use is four spaces so i have an example here for letter grade so we want to write a code that check if a person had grade a or grade b plus b or whatever according to the mark or score that the person will get so how can we do this we will have to write many if statements all right but we can do that by using something called if else so this code combine but instead of writing if else we are going to use l if because if else like this is not a syntax a correct syntax in python so instead of using if else we are going to use l if so here if the score is according to the letter grade that we saw is greater than or equal to 80 and then less than or equal to 100 then the person should be awarded grade a and then so on so if the grade is greater than or equal to 80 and if the score is less than or equal to 100 then we should print that you had grade a okay so this is what we are going to do but instead of writing the next line to be another if statement that is if we come here we will have to write if score is greater than 75 and then less than 79 the person should be awarded grade b we are going to use if or l if statement okay so if i hit alt and shift i want to select here and then write my l if statement score is greater than or equal to 75 and score is less than or equal to let's say 79 then my column here and then i want to paste 
this one here so the next thing is to just do some editing so we know that if the person had grade a score of 75 and then between 75 and 79 the person should be awarded b plus right and then if the person gets between 70 and 74 you get b so the third one should be 70 actually this is the third one right 70 and then 74 we are ordered b and then here is 65 to 69 the grade is c plus the next one is 60 to 64 so we have here 60 to 64 the grade is c and then we have here the next grade is d plus right that is between 55 and then 59 and then our code is ready so if i run this now and then we hit let's say 79 we are getting you had grade b okay if i run this again and then i hit 49 getting you had grade e if you run this again then let's say you had 95 you are having grade a so that is how we can use this but we are getting some yellowish underline here so let's clean this code up if we hover over it we are getting simplified change comparison so if we simplify this and then we also simplify this if we simplify all of them we are seeing that it looks much cleaner than what we did at first and it will work the same so you can either do what i did first that is using the logical operator and or do it this way right? if you are checking between two scores so if you run this and then we hit let's say 55 you expect grade what d plus so it works the same and then i even have another version here that is if i split this open on the right and then we compare this you see that this also looks similar to this one and then even this one we started checking from the last grade and then we didn't compare it between two scores because if your mark is less than 49 then obviously it's the same thing as this one you are getting grade e if it's less than 54 it's less than or equal to 54 then you are getting grade d so you can either use this or this or the first one that i did both works the same okay so if i run this one that is the gray script and i enter let's say 57 let's see what we are getting we had grade d plus so that is how you can use the if else statement to or the l if statement to do this and then you are if you compare these two you can see that here we have else statement here but here we don't have it here and it works the same all right so just try your hands on this your code might look different than what is here but at the end you should get the same results when you run it and this code still has a bug in it because you can have a decimal in a grade what about if the person had um, let's say 74.5 what should be the grade so i'll urge you to work around this code and then factor the decimals in so that if the person gets let's say 75.5 you will consider it as 76 all right so or you can still factor it you can still factor it in the code so that it will check for all those things bye bye for now in the next video we will do more exercises on the if a statement that is their conditional statement